Hi, sisters and brothers. I want to thank you, all of you, for praying for me. I finally broke my fevers. Um, with the help of your guys' prayers, I know all a lot of you, all kinds of you, were praying for me, and I just want to thank you very much. Now I just feel like stuffed up and cough and stuff, but I'm not delirious anymore. <laughs> Um, so I want to share with you guys some things, um, uh, that were shown to me and my husband too. Um, my husband had a dream that he was with his mother and father and he was over in Scandinavia. And I try to talk to him about it, and he doesn't like to really tell me his dreams. But before he had a dream about, uh, I think it was Lithuania. He's had a couple dreams where he's been in the middle of war over there. And I said, Scandinavia? He's all, yeah, I don't even know where that's at. And this is how, like, we don't know our geography, you guys. I said, we're both here sick because he got sick first. And he's all, yeah, I had a dream that I was in Scandinavia with my mom and dad. And their names are William and Annette. And I said, Scandinavia? He goes, yeah. He's all, where do you think that's at? I said, I don't know. I think that's South America. <laughs> it was so funny. Anyway, so when I looked it up, I found out that Scandinavia is Norway, Sweden, Finland, Denmark, and Iceland. It It's like a region or something. So, a uh, heads up for over there. The Lord's shown us something about over there. And, uh, I don't know. And also, today is... 921 you guys it is the real on the Hebrew calendar 921 and today the UN is holding a emergency meeting and things politically are heating up it's getting crazy you guys we are in the last days um also too I want to tell you about a dream I had where I was standing with my sister-in-law Robin and I was looking up at the sky and a barn began to manifest in the sky and it began to get began to get closer and closer it was like a pole barn or something and then in the back of this barn it was like a package deal manifesting in front of me in the sky it had like a Christmas tree or well it made me think of a Christmas tree it was like a fir tree I don't know what kind of tree it is a pine tree um, connected to the back of it and a um, a cactus it was like a bunch of shrubbery connected to the back of this barn and on the side of this barn and growing up into the tree was this. I don't know how that got on there. It was a pothos plant. You know those house plants? Those, they're like ivy and they grow down. I always used to call them spider plants, but the plant has a multitude of common names, including golden pothos, hunter's robe, ivy arum, money plant, silver vine, Solomon Island ivy, and tarot vine. It is also called devil's vine or devil's ivy because it is almost impossible to kill. So that's what I seen. And what it was doing was off to the right of the barn, it was manifesting itself like it was coming off of the tree. And it was starting to make a cloud. And I told Robin, I said, look at that. I was like, I said, it's making its own cloud in the sky. 
and uh, I was we were both kind of in awe like what is going on it kept wrapping around binding into this big huge cloud in the sky and when I woke up I thought about the scriptures where it talks about the grain being put into the store the barns stored up in the barns and then the ivy part um, when I read this it made me think about the dragon in the sky so it made me think about rapture and the dragon and this beast system that's forming right now and uh, more confirmations of that and uh and then when it said hunters, when I read here, it said um, silver vine, money plant, hunter's vine, or hunter's robe. And then when I had the dream that I was in hunter's room and his sheets or his blankets were the nightmare before Christmas. And then when I had that dream about that guy Biff, he was kind of like, I went back in time to the 50s, and that guy Biff, um, he said, no one's going to take my silver 3D. He had that silver dollar in his hand, and uh, he said, no one's going to get my silver 3D. So I think these are just all confirmations about what is taking place and prophecies being fulfilled and the Antichrist and the dragon and the beast system and these alliances being made, money being pushed around. We see that the dream I had about um, Russia and Turkey and Iran has come true. They ha The dollar being pushed around on the map, they have made alliance. And uh, I also had a dream about a a bear came into my room and it was trying, it was hurt. It was like, you know, um, it made me think of that movie where that bear got shot in the keister and he started making that noise, crying and crying and crying while this bear was running around my room, moaning and crying in distress. And it ran out the back door and it made me think some. Russia, because <coughs> Russia is the bear, and, uh, you know, all these things are manifesting before our eyes, but we need to keep watch, don't go to sleep, that's another thing the Lord told me, don't go to sleep, keep watch, blessed is the person that he finds keeping watch when he appears, and he also led me over to Judges 7, with Gideon and the Midianites. And the Lord said unto Gideon, The people that are with thee are too many for me to give the Midianites into their hands. It was a battle. Lest Israel vaunt themselves against me, saying, Mine own hand hath saved me. Now therefore go to proclaim to in the ears of the people, saying, Whosoever is fearful and afraid, let him return and depart early from Mount Gilead. And there returned of the people twenty and two thousand, and there remained ten thousand. And the Lord said unto Gideon, The people are yet too many. Bring them down unto the water, and I will try them, try them for thee there. And it shall be that of whom I say unto thee, This shall go with thee, the same shall go with thee. And of whomsoever I say unto thee, This shall not go with thee, the same shall not go. So he brought down the people unto the water, and the Lord said unto Gideon, Every one that lappeth of the water with his tongue, as a dog lappeth, him shalt thou set by himself. Likewise every one that boweth down upon his knees to drink. And the number of them that lappeth, putting their hand to their mouth, were three hundred men. But all the rest of the people bowed down upon their knees to drink water. And the Lord said unto Gideon, By the three hundred men that lapped will I save you. And deliver the Midianites into thy hand, and let all the other people go, every man unto his place. So you can continue to read this chapter. It's very amazing. 
the Lord used 300 men to de help defeat the battle. They used the 300. He used the 300 men, surrounded the camp, and blew the trumpets. But what's amazing about it is that the men that he picked didn't put their face to the water. The men that he picked kept watch as they drank. They didn't put their face to the water and turn their eyes down as they drank. When they drank, they pulled the water up to their faces and drank so they could keep watch and look around just in case. And that's how we need to be in our lives right now. We need to keep watch, not go to sleep. We need to be on guard at all times about what is going on around us because the kingdom of God is at hand. And Jesus is coming very soon. He told me, behold, I come swiftly. Hold fast. Let no, no man steal your crown. You know, those that are watching will receive a crown upon my coming. Anyway, you guys, I love you. And again, thank you for all your prayers. And I hope you're having a blessed day. Amen.